just hoping for a successful night, a great night for the women, and uh, hopefully we can raise a lot of money. Well, you know what? It's a good thing because it gives, you know, people don't have to travel a lot. Sometimes you have a lot of people in these inner cities, smaller cities that can't even really travel to the bigger cities. So to have an event in a, in a small place like this here, it, it draws crowds because uh, you have a lot of people in those inner cities that really can't go outside of here because of whatever reason it is. So I think it's a great turnout and I think you shouldn't stop having it this way. My son's birthday is actually today and uh, you know, I. At first, I really didn't want him to come just because I was tied in with work. And so he, he, he's the one who really drug me out today. It was like, he wanted to go and he wanted to have some fun and wanted to serve food. So I was like, well, if you want to go, let's go. So he drug me out. I'm glad he did because uh, he's 14 and um, just trying to start him off on the right track, doing what's right uh, for people, not just himself. Don't just think about himself because uh, everybody's not fortunate. So luckily he has a uh, great family and then one way he could try to give back is to events like this and stuff. So uh, start, starting at a young age and I'm proud of her. Uh, that's, that's my rock. I mean, she, uh, uh, when, when I'm tired, you know, I, look, I just look at her and she kicked me off the bed. So it's no, it's no sitting around, you know, feeling sorry about myself. Uh, she do so much, um, you know, with me and for me. Uh, well, I don't have to worry about nothing but play football. And uh, a lot of credit go to her. You know, without her, you know, I really won't be the successful person off the field that I am. Um, so she deserves a lot of that credit. Vince Wilford Foundation is something uh, my wife and I founded, um, you know, eight years ago. And, and uh, my father diabetic, so one thing we try to do is raise funds for diabetes, uh, to try to find a cure for that disease, because. Uh, every year it's eating up a lot, a lot of people. So that's one thing that we try to do, and uh, we give we give money to other charities and you know the community, whatever that it needs help. And that's one thing that you know we wanted to start it for. That's one thing that we believe in is always giving back to the community. So that's one way. Uh, that's the reason I'm here today, just to give back and uh, show my support to the community. Well, I, I eat a lot of baked food. Um, I, I love chicken. Uh, so my wife cook a lot of baked chicken, all different types of baked chicken, different seasoning and stuff. So um, instead, try to stay on the vegetables. I'm not a vegetable guy, but I love collard greens. I love cabbage. I love broccoli. So as long as I have one of those, I'll be okay. I have a protein and then I have my, my veggies. Did you feel like you was running track last week when you made that interception <laughs> back at UPM? Hey. I, I, only thing I was I was looking at was the end zone, getting to the end zone, and how fast I can get there. I didn't know how long it's gonna take me, but uh, got tripped up. But it's okay. I got the interception still, my first career, so I have to be happy with that one. Congratulations! And uh, what did the teammates say back in the locker room? How'd they razz you up? Oh like man, they say I was moving. They say they didn't they didn't know the big fella could move like that. <laughs>